What's up, YouTube? It's Zapdos TCG here, and thanks again for watching our TCG battle video on my channel. Today, we're gonna play with the first place winning deck. Uh, that's right, Galisopod Zorak of the special event in Mexico City. As a little known fact, uh, Galisopod Zorak also uh, became second at the uh, Sheffield Regional, so don't uh, let anybody fool you. Galisopod Zorak is still one of the best decks in the format, and that's what we're gonna play with today. So, a uh, huge shout out to uh, Pablo Meza, aka Tableman. Uh, definitely check out his YouTube channel. I'll be sure to put it in the description below because he actually won the special event in Mexico City and this is the first place winning deck that we're gonna try and uh, yeah make a little uh, play through with so uh, we're having Glyspot GX of course with first impression dealing 120 damage if you come from the bench Tapu Koko flying flip 20 on everything could be kind of neat in the early game uh, phases because uh, you cannot attack with a Zorua or a Wimple actually you can attack with a Zorua that uh, only deals 20 damage uh, but yeah uh, first turn you just have your Wimp out you retreat into your Tapu Koko use Bridget flying flip and the next turn you evolve everything so that's how the deck functions also two copies of Mew EX because Boswell is running rampant with of course Jet Punch, Knuckle Impact, B-String and that weird shenanigans. You definitely want an answer so two copies of Mew EX are in this winning list. What else is uh, kind of neat, uh, something new that Glyspot is using now is Counter Catcher because if you're behind on prize cards you can go for a Heavy Sycamore and just get that uh, Counter Catcher from that and with Counter Catcher you can easily target something on the opponent's side of the, uh, of the bench and just drag it to the active position to smack around for the KO. I've seen a lot of matches turn out with Counter Catcher that dragging around uh, a Boswell Jack to the front and then locking it out with new EX. So definitely uh, try out this list, it's very solid. Of course the Puzzle of Time engine is still in here, uh, invented by Tord Rex and the internationals in London. It's still getting along here. Zoroark Glyspot is still not going anywhere. We have Parallel City for opposing Zoroark matchups and of course Malamar. Malamar does not like Parallel at all. What else is in this list? Professor Kukui, you don't see that very often in the Glyspot Zorark list, but it's in here for the extra damage because sometimes if you do the mask correctly uh, with, of course, the Crossing Cut Choice Band and a DCE, you can hit uh, some neat numbers. And also with Counter Catcher, and now that I think about it, Counter Catcher in combination with Kukui and, of course, a Choice Band and a full bench, you will be able to one shot Tapu Leles. How amazing is that? Hopefully, we can try and make one of those plays. Two Acer Wallows, of course, because you want to recycle Glyspot turn after turn and also you can back, get back a Zoroark in the hand if it gets a lot of damage on it. Only three grass energies now you might say that is uh, no, not consistent at all but now uh, we have four puzzle of time to recover them if need be. So that is the list that we're gonna play with today. Hopefully you have a lot of information already about Glyspot Zoroark. I have a bazillion video about, videos about the deck if you want to learn more. But today this is an updated version. We have Counter Catcher at our disposal. We have two copies of Mew. If we're facing both we'll definitely uh, let them know because we're gonna get out that Mew. We're gonna copy Righteous Beating and we're gonna smack them in the discard. That's what we're gonna do. Also, uh, if you have not noticed, I got a little haircut because I was starting to look like an Alolan duck trio. <laughs> yeah, hair was everywhere, so I decided, yeah, I needed a haircut, and uh, now we're back here. Also, we are facing metal with Psychic. This is going to be... Hmm, maybe this could be a Dusk main Necrozma variant. I am not sure just yet, but we'll have to wait and see how this turns out. The thing is, if it's uh, one of those lists, we'll definitely want to go after the Magnazones, if he's playing Magnazone at all. Could also be Dusk main with Garboder. We'll have to wait and see how it uh, unfolds here. Uh, hopefully we start with the first turn Bridget. We run three copies, unlike the first place winning list of the Sheffield Regionals. This list is running three copies and not four copies. Four copies was kind of overkill, but it worked out for him in the end. We won the coin flip, which means we can go immediately into this match. And hopefully we have a first turn Bridget so we can get uh, the show on the road and wow! Well, 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 look at this. We dead draw. We're gonna start with a Zorowa and a Wimpod on the bench. We have a Guzma so we can at least get a second turn first impression. So that at least is comfortable to know. We also have Zoroark GX that is able to trade as soon as turn two. We're also gonna put that Wimpod on the bench here. Uh, maybe we should have swapped it around because Wimpod does have free retreat on the first game, but I'm definitely gonna retreat into Zorua unless I draw into a draw supported that maybe you could have gotten out Tapu Koko with a flying flip as mentioned earlier. Yeah, we definitely should have started with Wimpod. But anyhow, it is, yo, it is, yeah, it doesn't even matter too much. So we're gonna get out this. Do we attach the energy? I do think he cannot attack on the first turn. So let's give an energy, a grass energy to the Wimpod. And we're just gonna pass the turn. Next turn, we have access to first impression. 120 damage. Maybe we can target the Poipol early game because he's going to set up his entire bench. And uh, Naganadal, uh, if you have not noticed, was the video that I did uh, Wednesday, of course, episode day. I uh, br break down the uh, Naganadal deck with Boswell and uh, looked at all the cards that were in a type of list like this. This time around, he's playing, of course, Naganadal with Metal 
types. Uh, so he, we're definitely gonna expect B strings, Dusk Mane Necrozmas, and of course the sniping baby Dusk Mane Necrozma. Okay, we're gonna see Sycamore, so no uh, first turn Bridget, but he has uh, one of those Tapu Lele's that uh, limits his damage output to 100 now, which is neat because we also have resistance. We have resistance to Psychic, Naganadal will not do that much unless he decides to go for that uh, amazing GX move, uh, what is it called again? Hmm, Stinger GX, that's the one. Okay, Max Elixir, this is looking pretty scary. One Max Elixir hits and uh, oof. He already has one energy attached to his Dust Mane Necrozma. I think only Max Elixir will work for Dust Mane Necrozma. Maybe we should target that one for now. Or do we target uh, the little Poipol? In this situation, I'm just... He's definitely gonna rely on Invasion next uh, turn. So, in that regard, he still has access... He still needs three more energies, but he has, still has access to Sun's Eclipse GX. So, in that regard, let's evolve into Zoroark GX first. We can feel blow away his Choice Bands. But I'm a bigger fan of relying on Acer Wall, so let's get rid of the Field Blowers. We do run multiple copies of that, and let's see what we get. We got a DCE, so we can uh, at least start putting pressure here. We're dealing, yeah, we're dealing sweet amount of damage here. We can cross and cut GX on something. 150. Mm, Zoroark can kick, make quick work of the Dawnwing, so we can two-shot that. But, mm, I think I'm just gonna grab that, uh, oof. What am I doing now? Oh, here comes these Galisopod. Yes, that's all right. We're having this Galisopod here, and this Galisopod will be able to use the armor press. So we're having a little bit of buff here, and uh, we're gonna two shot that Dusk Mane Necrozma. We're not gonna rely on first impression in this situation since that extra 20 damage doesn't matter at all, unless he runs Fighting Fury Belt, but that does not make any sense at all. So we have Acer Roll. If we get damage, we can start swinging with Zoroark Jax, and we also have access to trade. So, ooh, uh, Ultra Space. We're probably gonna see some Naganadal shenanigans here. Hello, Naganadal, where are you? Show your face. Naganadal can target our little Zorowa. That is unfortunate. The good news is, uh, oof, he's not getting out anything, so he's going to for a Cynthia here. Hmm. Was that the correct play? Could have also attached, uh, attacked with Zorowa Jax. Zorowa Jax would have dealt 120 damage on the Dawnwings. But I think this is the, the uh, issue here. If he has Max Elixir and stuff, he can try and get out some Sun's Eclipse Jaxes if we knocked out that Poipole. And I, I'm not afraid of this uh, Naganadal uh, because he has uh, only a, he's only having the uh, B straight as his attack since he's running metal type energies and that attack will only be able to do oof oof that is not cool definitely not cool or our ooh, our DCE will hit the discard Kartana okay cool play well played sir okay what do we need now it's a DCE or two puzzles or a draw supporter a draw supporter would be nice hmm. Well, well, well. Well played, sir. Okay, second energy going to the Dust Main Necrozma. Now we need to find a way to one-shot this guy. Okay, invasion. I can dig that. He's setting up his Dust Main. That Cartana definitely screwed up our plan. We have, of course, access to an N. The N is great. Let's just use Ultra Space to see what is prized. That is always something I love to do here. Uh, all the Tapulates are in there. We have access to Counter Catcher. The uh, Enhanced Hammers are pretty much useless unless he's relying on the Beast Energy. We have Mallow, two DCEs. And how many puzzles? I need to know my puzzle count. Two. Wow. There is a lot of crucial things priced. Wow, wow, wee, wow. He did not even damage us, so Acerola won't do the trick here. Well, well, well. I think in this situation, the best thing is just to rely on N. What will we get from the N? We get, oof, not a lot to work with. We have Professor Kukui. We have a Tapu Lele. We have an Energy. This Dusk main will be so, so annoying. So let's trade away. Do we trade away to Bridget? I don't know at this point. We have to have to get another Bridget out. So let's get rid of the Bridget. Boom! And we get Ultra Ball and the Mew. Ultra Ball, another Zoroark GX could be sweet. That way we can trade some more. Let's get rid of the Mew EX. Is able to one shot Naganadal GX. So let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of the Kakui. Okay, we need more bench Pokemon or another Zoroark. I think another Zoroark is sufficient here. Maybe we draw into a Floatstone and a DCE. What would be the chances of that? Choice Band is something we don't need at this point. So let's get rid of it. Although the Choice Band and Kukui method definitely can knock out a Lele. Boom! We get a Grass Energy. 
Grass energies won't help us out at all, but the grass energy on a Mew EX can one-shot, uh, of course, Naganadal. Cool, we're gonna get one grass energy to Golisopod for now, and we're gonna leave it at that. Next turn we Tapu Lele something, and uh, we have access to Tapu Lele to, of course, rely on the Guzma, and Mew can knock out first impression, minus 20. Okay, if Mew can knock out this guy, Mew can knock out this guy. What will we knock out? He will get the first knockout, that means he will have, he will need 4 energy, so Sun's Eclipse GX won't uh, matter at all. So we have a Glycepod GX, 210 HP, it could get one shot up. that could work out. If he has a Max Elixir and an attachment and a Float Stone, that could happen. How many Max Elixirs has he already used? One. Ooh, that is pretty scary. If he has a heavy Sycamore and stuff, things could turn out pretty nasty. I'm kind of curious. The good news is, this one gets one shot by Zoroark, this one gets one shot by Mew, and this one gets one shot by Glycepod. We have all our uh, prizes that we are uh, in our head that we're gonna take here, and that's gonna be neat. Cannot rely on this Dusk main with uh, 130. We're definitely gonna use the uh, Guzma here. We're running three copies of Guzma, so Mew, Guzma, Naganadal. Oh, he just passes the turn. What is this? What is, what is this? It's crazy. Okay. Now that I have looked at my options, we're gonna knock out this Naganadal. Okay, we have four Pokemon in total. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. That is in not enough. Five, but we can one shot something else. Okay, Mallow. Mallow. Okay, we have an energy we can get. Mallow. Yeah, with Mallow we can start using our GX move of, of course, Galicipod to get rid. Or actually, now that I think about it, 1, 2, 3, 4, we can one-shot it with... Uh, if we have another bench here, so we can one-shot this Dawnwings. I think I'm gonna go for that method. So first things first, I am gonna trade away my N, since I won't be needing it this turn. Boom! And now... Let's use Ultra Space first to see what we can mellow for. We're gonna mellow for... Oh, we don't have a Float Stone. Ugh. Crucial. Pretty crucial. Okay, that is pretty crucial. So in that regard... Hmm. Energy's on the field. Okay. We can parallel him. Could happen. Okay, he just scoops. Because for no particular reason. We, uh, in this situation... What I would have done is uh, I would have knocked out that um, Dominic Necrozma with our GX move, crossing, crossing cut GX, and then afterwards his Dustmane comes up, we knock that out, and late game we use our puzzles to get, of course, the Mew EX and one shot Naganadel GX. That's what I would have done. So we got one win, we're gonna go into another round here because I'm feeling in a good mood and this list is putting out, putting out to work here. We definitely need our first turn bridges. That did not happen in the last game. Hopefully we can uh, turn things around here. Again, we're facing some psychic shenanigans with the Carlos types. I don't know what this deck will be. And we lost the coin flip, which is, is to be expected. You cannot always win the coin flip. And the opponent is the opponent's turn. Okay, we have access to nothing to work with. We have a type of Lily with a DC, so at least we have a first turn deck. Ah, oh well. We have Professor Kukui and a DC, so if he has 60 HP, we can knock it out. Let it be 60 HP. Come on, 60 HP, that's what we need. Haha! <laughs> oh no, he has gonna, he's going to evolve into Espeon GX. No, my plan. Uh, at least with a Choice Band, with a DC and a Kukui, we can get out a huge amount of damage. Here comes the Espeon, he cannot attack on the first turn. That is also something to remember here. Oh, Tapu Lele, Bridget, Trubbish Party is going to happen here. So, we need to top deck Ultra Ball. We need to top deck... Lele, or we need to top deck something like a Cynthia N or Sycamore. <laughs> Sycamore would have been kind of painful, but... Okay. How much damage are we able to dish out? 20, 40, 60, 70. Wow, with the Professor Kukui, that's 90. That's definitely a huge amount of damage. Okay, we got a Mew. Really? I did not need the Mew at all. Come on, Professor Kukui, what do we get? What do we get? A Lele. We got a Lele. At least we get that. So, disregard, that regard, DCE, choice ban, is he able to one-shot us? 
60 plus 30 more for each amount of energy, so it's 120 with a choice band 150. I don't think he runs Professor Kukui, so we're gonna keep the Lele in hand for now. Because I don't think he is able to one-shot us. 60, 90, 120, 150. I don't think he runs Professor Kukui at all, so let's leave them in the hand so we can rely on Bridget next turn, or maybe we drop back on Bridget, it all depends. Here comes Energy Drive! Boom! We even have the access to Acerola. <laughs> cool. So, now that we look at it, Tapu Lele is putting in the work. We can uh, rely on Tapu Lele again. Tapu Lele, Acerola, and knock out this Espio. That would be so insane. Oh yeah, Tapu Lele putting in work. Okay, Trash Lancer is in town. We have zero, zero. What is he gonna do? Confuse us or attack us? Zero items in the discard. Sycamore. This Espion will see the discard. Let's see here. One, two, three energies, four, five. We'll definitely get a knockout here. Field Blower doesn't matter at all. We're gonna ace Arola away. And we're gonna get, of course, our DCE back. That is gonna be amazing. So, Tapuleo will we'll get the first KO. We don't see Ability Lock anytime soon. Although, he has, now using Ultra Ball, definitely gonna get all the Trubbish here. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. We have access to Mind Jack. Mind Jack with Mew. Cool. But Mew is weak to Psychic. Ugh. Don't like to see that at all. What is he gonna do? Psychic? Is he gonna Psychic? Yeah, he's going to Psychic. Okay, in this situation, we could Ace Roll and do some weird shenanigans. Oh, Little Zoroa, hello. Little Zoroa shows its face. We can Tapu Lele. We definitely can get the first KO here, so that is neat. So in this situation, I'm going to rely on Tapu Lele. And I am going to go for a Bridget. We are dead drawing though. Hmm. Maybe a Cynthia is better. Because we are dead drawing. Look at our hand. Yeah, let's get that Cynthia going on. He's definitely gonna get a one shot here. So in that regard, we have one item in the discard. Let's smack the Mew down. Maybe he's going, going after the Mew. Could be the case. But at least we won't draw into it. Enhance Hammer. <laughs> We're not gonna do that. Otherwise, we don't get the one hit KO here. Uh, we could Ace Rolla, So we heal up completely and start attacking with Mew. But in this situation, let's get the Choice Band equipped to this guy. And Cynthia, come on. Come on, basic Pokemon. Where are you at? Where are you at? Come on, consistency. Ho, Wimpods, come out. Cool. Another Wimpod. Field Blower, something I don't need. I don't see any, uh, how any items in the discard. One. Trubbish goes away. Mm. Field Blower, I know we're gonna get rid of two items here. Two items is already risky here. And we're gonna get out another Zoroa. Because I don't see Ability Lock, which is awesome. Okay, our bench is set up. And now we rely on an Energy Drive. Tapu Lelish, putting in work. We already have a Mew set up for another Espeon that might show its face. And looks like we're gonna have, yeah, three items in the discard. He can one-shot a Mew, but our Tapu Lele is also weak, so it doesn't even matter at all. Our Tapu Lele only has 50 HP, the Mew has more HP, but it's kind of a liability here. He can also Guzma out. Okay, Lily, not gonna matter too much. Trash Lange, we are gonna have to play around Trash Lange in this situation. Targeting the GX Pokemon, which is gonna be Espeon and Lele. Zoroark Garbodor with Espeon. Kind of a weird list, if I say so myself. Okay, Trasha Lange, hello. We are gonna see the discard. Hooray! Bloodstone, although that standard can also pack quite a punch here. Boom! So we are discard. Oh, we have two puzzles in hand. Ooh. Interesting, the DCE, and we, we can definitely get back the DC and the... Let me just wait for this. We have access to our puzzles. We can Ultra Ball, Lele, Guzma. Ultra Ball, Lele, Guzma, DCE. Hmm. We're just gonna fill up our bench. That's what we're gonna do here. Okay, DCE equipped it. Boom. We can end him to four cards. That is neat. Uh, the two puzzles can get us something we want. We're definitely gonna rely on the two puzzles right now. Because we need our Zoroark GX. 
Tapu Lele Sycamore Tapu Lele Sycamore Hmm Ultra Ball da -da 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 -da. What else might we possibly need? Field Blower? Let's get those back That's what we're gonna do And now we're getting a Zoroark GX Come on! And with that Zoro GX, we hopefully will draw another bench Pokemon, otherwise we will be totally screwed. Here we go, Zoro GX is in town, and now we end into four cards, and we don't get a basic Pokemon. Ooh! That is pretty scary. Although we have access to two traits, which possibly will get us at least one Pokemon? We need one Pokemon to knock out this Garbodor. Ta -da. Oh, Ultra Ball, that's cool. I can dig that. I don't see Trash Lance coming back anytime soon, so let's get rid of one hammer. We have the Guzma in hand, so that's cool. Boom! Wow, two Guzmas. Well, well, well. How many Guzmas in this card? Zero, so I'm comfortable getting rid of one. Enhanced Hammer is just very, very good, so let's get rid of the Field Blower. And here it comes our final Pokemon on the bench. Can it be Coco? With Tapu Coco, we don't have any draw support, so maybe Tapu Lele for our next draw supporter could be nice. Hmm. Tapu Lele Guzma, okay. Okay, okay. Or Mallow. Hmm. Let's get a Coco. With Guzma we have free retreat then and it's gonna work out pretty well. Okay, let's get rid of that Garboder for now. Boom! I don't wanna see its face anymore. Let's get a prize card. Boom! It's a float still. Well, there goes my free retreat Tapu Coco being useless. Our Mew EX will get targeted here immediately. So how many items in our discard? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, that is a lot. That's 160 damage. With the choice band, that's 190. We have to be careful of playing item cards because Trash Challenge will be back pretty soon. And in this situation, we will be able, if we get a DCE, we can Guzma out the Espeon. That's how it works. Come on. Tapu Lele, Guzma. I expect the Guzma. Yeah, Mew! No! Our Mew will see the discard. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Little Mew. Viability. Boom! KO! Right, if we don't see the Trubbish this turn, I think we got this in the back. Okay, let's get rid of that. I don't even care too much about it. And our bench seems to be perfectly fine here. So let's promote our free retreat Tapu Coco. We cannot play any items, although we don't see any Trubbishes, so that's cool. Cool indeed. Enhanced Hammer can get rid of that. And uh, while we get rid of that DCE, we can target something else. So let's see what we are able to trade. Boom! Got my support and DCE. I like that. We don't even need Floatstone at this point. So I'm comfortably fine with getting rid of it. Boom! Ah, we got a lot of Guzmas. Ah, a lot of Guzmas to be precise. So, in that regard, hmm, we can use Enhanced Hammer, get rid of that energy. How many DCs in this discard? Already one. Can get rid of the little Zoroa or get rid of this one? Meh. I'm gonna keep that enhanced hammer for now. I don't I do think he's going to end afterwards, so that is definitely not cool. Although we have multiple Zora GXs in town. Boom! Retreat! Actually now that I think about it, yeah, we are gonna retreat and get rid of that Zoroark that is spamming our way. Guzma is gonna be for next turn. Boom! Only two more prize cards to pick. The opponent also needs two more prize cards. We have a lot of Guzma. Ooh, we have Sycamore. Sycamore, I like it. Could have also relied on Counter Catcher. Ultra Ball, we're gonna see Trubbish coming its way. So, what we need is our Mew back. And our puzzles seem to be prized. 
so no way of getting Mew back. So we need to rely what is going to come out. Zoro GX. We have Enhanced Hammer still available to us. We have Guzma. We have we needed a strong energy, actually not a strong energy, a grass energy and a choice band. And that way we're home safe. One choice band in this card, cool. If we sick him more, we get that grass energy and choice band, we're cool. He will definitely confuse us here. We need to knock out this garbage as soon as possible. Otherwise that trash launcher will punish us like crazy. Okay. Let's do this. We can do this. We have two Guzmas in hand. We have enhanced hammer, we can slow him down. Aspion Garbojo with Zoro Mark. It's something I've never seen before. Looks to be... Yeah, he's also relying on Parallel. Oof, I don't like to see that Parallel hill. Hopefully we draw into a Grass Energy. That way we can Guzma and Armor Press away that uh, little Trubbish. Still needs two prize cards, so that's cool. One Energy going to the Aspion. Come on. Confuse us. Confuse us, man. I don't care. Don't care at all. The only thing that can punish us is this Garbodor. We have six, seven items, nine, ten. Okay, we have a bazillion amount of damage. Still have access to train. First things first, let's get rid of a Zoro GX since we won't be needing it at all. Boom. Mellow. Choice Band. We can get the Choice Band and the Grass Energy later. I don't think we need any of these cards for now. Let's trade away the Ultra Ball. Hmm. Wow, now we have a card, but we can end the opponent as well. Oh, I forgot we have two Mews. Wow, with that we could have also already won. We could have mallowed here for, of course, the DCE and the Mew and could have finished it straight from the bat. Now that I think about it, this list runs two Mew EXs. Okay, I have to get used to that. Oh well. Let's target the Trubbish. There's nothing he can do at this point. So, boom! Uh, Mew EX will have to wait. Ah, it's just so unfortunate. Could have won already. Unless there are so many these E's and the prize cards. Yeah, there's still... I don't know if there's still one in the deck. Let's feel blow away. I might. He might parallel us, but it doesn't matter too much at this stage in the game. Boom! The Mew will come in hard. Righteous beating. Boom. Okay. One more prize card. And he still has a lone Zorowa on the bench. This is going to be one from the ages. I think I should have definitely used Mallow for the DCE and then retreated them. Boom. You could have knocked out the Aspion Jax immediately. So now that I think about it. Oh, bodybuilding dumbbells coming onto the Aspion. Aspion has a bazillion amount of HP. If he doesn't evolve his Zorowa this turn, he's done for. He needs to evolve it to his GX as well. Although we have Mew, full bench DCE. Ultra Bolt coming down. He's gonna tap Wu Lele and us. Definitely. If, does he have a Lele left? How many Lele's in his discard? Zero. But we have access to trade. Okay, little Trubbish comes back. If he does not end us, we win. Let's see if that happens. So uh, think about it. Two Mew EXs, that's genius. You one shot Necrozma GXs. You one shot Aspion EXs. You actually GXs. You one shot uh, Boswell GXs. So two Mews is genius. Definitely use them. I thought that there's only. I am so used to only having one Mew EX in my deck that I oversaw this play mechanic. Okay, he's gonna shuffle a whole bunch of stuff back in the deck. He's definitely gonna end. How many ends in this discard? one and oh I was expecting this end well what can we do now one puzzle one puzzle oof one puzzle is not cool we need two of them this E to the little Zoro War is going to retreat he is going to retreat to Espeon and confuse the hell out of us well isn't that interesting? Come on. Guzma is what we need. Trade number one. Mellow. Hello, Mellow. Okay. With Mellow, we don't get 
a Guzma. But we can get our Mew action shenanigans. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's going to be enough. Mellow. What can Mellow bring us? The Mew. Okay, the DCE is priced, but we can rely on first impression here. First impression is going to work out pretty well, so we don't even need any... Oh, we have two puzzles. We need to trade something away to get those cards, and that's going to be the Grass Energy. Oh, wow, well, I'm just uh, fooling around here with this list. Trade. <laughs> okay, we definitely got it. Boom. Here comes Mew. And now we use the Puzzle of Time. Putting two cards back, and that is going to be field blower DCE. Okay, now we can righteous beating and get rid of that dumbbells because it's not working out for you, man. Let's get rid of it, and <laughs> we are going to retreat. Okay, we finally man managed it with Mew, and now we're gonna say well played here because Mew EX is going to rely on righteous beating. That's gonna get the KO here. Anyhow, hopefully you enjoyed me playing with Pablo Mezo's uh, Meza, Meza, wow, I'm just so hyped with I one here. So Pablo Mezo's um, Goliath Zoroark list, so much fun to play with. Definitely remember two Mews, you have so much options. Very solid list, try it out for yourself and let me know in the comment section what you think about the list. Be sure to like the video as well if you enjoyed the content. For more Pokemon TCG content, be sure to subscribe as well. Have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you guys later. Peace out.